Okay, so let's say this thing is going around like that. I can ask a variety of questions just simply on this situation. For example, I can word the question this way. If the breaking tension in the string is 40 newtons, okay, I think that should work, uh, 5 times 9.8 is um, 9.8. Yeah, so let's say a little bit smaller. Let's say if the breaking tension in the string is 30 newtons, What's the shortest period that this ball can have? What's the shortest period? <clears throat> I kind of, that's a kind of a twisted way of asking the question, I know. But we have a little twisted mind here in the physics department, you know? Making it a little harder for you here to answer it. If uh, the breaking strength of string is 30 newtons, what is the shortest period the ball can have? So we're going to do like this, right? We're going to say we have a tension T, 5 times 9.8. So the weight is 49. And then this uh, angle here is 38. So we have a T cosine of 38 must be equal to 49, right? And then T sine of 38 must be equal to what? Um, must be equal to the centripetal force, right? So that's the, in, the inward push like this. So the inward push of the string like this, right? The, that's the T sine of 38. That's what is making this thing go around in a circle. Otherwise, why, how would it go around the circle, right? So usually, by the way, in these kinds of situations, usually there's somebody that's, or some, either it's a person or a machine, that's somebody that's turning the, the rod, OK? Or it could be in the case of a, a, like a carnival ride, it could be a, a machine that's turning the rod. And the string starts out a vertical like this, and then it begins to move out, right? So there's some external force that is causing the thing to turn, but the force that's actually causing the, this person to move around is the horizontal force of the tension, the horizontal component of the tension, right? But somebody has to be turning this thing in order for this thing to occur, right? Um, so T sine of 38 is mv squared over r, right? However, in situations where the problem doesn't want to know the v, there are some cases where the problem doesn't even want to know the v, or you don't even know the v, and it's not even asking the v. In this case, what is it asking about? The period T. The period means it's the time that it takes to go around once around the, the turn, right? So in that kind of case, the relationship between the V and the T is V is 2 pi R over the period uh, T. That's the relationship that you use. Because uh, the velocity is the distance that it travels. And in this case, the radius R is this thing, right? 
So the circle that it's making has a radius r, and the circumference of that circle is 2 pi r. And so therefore, the velocity is the distance around the, the circumference divided by how many seconds it takes it to make that turn, you see, divided by the period t. So this thing is not the same as the tension t. So I wrote it a little bit different with the, the line like this. So now substitute that into that v over there. And then one of the r's cancels one of the r's divided by t squared. OK, and what else do we know here? Now, what are we supposed to solve for? Well, we know the breaking strength in the tension is uh, 30 newtons. So we can actually substitute that into the t here, right? So breaking strength, uh, put here uh, 30 and uh, put 30 sine of 38 is equal to 4 pi squared, what's the mass m? Oh, you know what? I did something weird. I gave you, I gave you too much information in this problem. It's never good for a teacher to divulge too much information here, OK? <laughs> oh. OK. <laughs> because I can't tell you that the breaking strength is 30, and then the angle is 38. How do you know? How do you know that at the point where it breaks, the angle is 38? You have to calculate the angle at which it breaks. Okay? It goes up, it goes up, it goes up, it goes up. The faster you do, it goes up, it goes up, it goes up, and then you get to the limit, it breaks at a certain angle, right? So I, I shouldn't give you the angle in this case. So that's another thing I can ask is, What's the shortest period? And what's the angle when it's going to break? Oh, you, know, you know what? I'm going to ask that on the test. <laughs> now, you don't know if I'm going to really ask it. Am I setting you up or, OK? <laughs> OK. So what is the shortest period and theta? OK, so now, put the tension t is uh, 30. Put the uh, theta here, we don't know. 4 pi squared, m is 5, r, what is r? r is the radius, r, uh, this one here, well, we know the string is 2 meters, so 2 sine of theta is r, right? Over the period squared. Oh, that's good, the sine theta canceled. Cool. So cancel. 30 here, sine theta. Cancel over there. So this one cancels with this one. And there you go. From that, from that equation alone, we can calculate the period, the shortest period it can have. This is t minimum. Another way of saying that is it's the fastest it can go at before it breaks.